It's so windy out here. But I am so happy. <laughs> We spent a good amount of time on the edge of a city and I was just really over it so decided to come out here. It's about an hour away and uh, best decision I made this month. So beautiful. How are you sweet girl? This was one of the first nights in a long time that finally felt normal to me. I am so familiar with how the desert cools off in the evenings and how the choya glows as the sun sets and that familiar thick smell of creosote bushes all around camp. There are a lot of places and moments that feel like home to me, but this is definitely one of my favorites. Watch it again, like your <laughs> actions. Like I thought you were swinging towards me. So I was getting ready. Uh, to defend yourself? Yes. Mm, sure. <laughs> Did you almost say no? <laughs> it's just going to get old after a while. Are you ready? We're going to finish it tonight. You make your legs more comfortable <laughs> to lean on. Are you intentionally being annoying? Did you know that that was our goal? This is like literally the seventh or eighth time that you said that. Okay, okay. I didn't know you heard me. The other side. Sacrifice. That's gonna be you if you don't shut your mouth. That's so clever. You're so clever. How'd you come up with that? Those incomprehensible swirling eyes. You wanna come up here? Come in. Come on. Yeah. Oh, that's a good girl. Exa study trust, watching her with those incomprehensible swirling eyes. <laughs> <laughs> What's my problem? You're the one crying up there. <laughs> this funny thing is I have this all on camera. <laughs> <laughs> Like in the course of the weekend, everything just shifted. What? Yeah. Crazy. Yeah. Now that I'm finally feeling a little bit more settled in life after everything, this winter and overseas travel, I'm planning another little trip. Originally, I really wanted to go to Idaho this spring, but after the land purchase and then the well on top of it, we decided to chill a little bit and just not go crazy with travel expenses so I can recoup. <laughs> Which has honestly worked great because there is a backpacking trip that I have wanted to do for years now and staying in Southern Utah will 
allow me to do that and this is the perfect season to go with Aquila. Any warmer and she would have a really hard time. Everything that I've read about it says that four wheel drive is a must to get to the trailhead. And to be quite honest, I'm willing to risk it. Yeah, a second thing, there's no water on the trail, so that's, that's okay, but it is a little bit difficult with a dog. If there was water on the trail, Aquila could do the hike in hotter months, but there's no water on the trail, so she will never be able to cool her body down. And then also I will have to carry like double the amount of water to make sure Aquila has plenty of water at all times throughout the hike. I will have to pack out poop, but that is not an issue. Anyway, I'm figuring out all of these details and I'm very, very excited about it. We have quite the operation going on here. Oh, do you want to be involved too? Well, I can brush you too. You're not shedding very bad though. Hi, okay. Oh my gosh, Akila. Hi, okay. Oh, does that feel good? You gotta brush your brother. That feels so good. It is 2.02 .02 in the afternoon and I'm prepping dinner. In one of the previous videos, I mentioned that I treated myself to two things just to make health easier. One of them was a dehydrator and I've been making jerky every week. Thank you so much for the tips, by the way, in that video. Um, funny enough, one person was like, hey, put it in a sealed jar rather than a Ziploc bag because the bag will create condensation and make it moldy. And I think that is a fantastic piece of advice and I will use that in the future. The only thing that I chuckled about was the fact that the jerky literally does not have time to molt because I will finish it in two days alone. <laughs> okay, but the other thing that I got is this little crock pot. I love crock pot meals because they're so easy and it's just a really efficient, use of time uh, I just haven't allowed myself to get one in the van because I have really limited power but now with my extra bloody station um, I can yeah I have extra power and the meal I'm making today has been a fan favorite for years with my friends and my family they love this meal it is so easy so I'm gonna show you how to do it good enough okay it is so simple all you have to do is in a crock pot you put chicken breasts a jar of salsa a bunch of rough cut cilantro and taco seasoning you can buy a taco seasoning packet or you can do a mixture of your own which is also really simple and to top it off the juice of one or two limes and i forgot to buy limes and that is my favorite part of this meal is how citrusy it is so i just asked chris if he had any <laughs> limes or lemons and he gave me this old, crusty, dried up lemon. We'll just skip that part for today. Anyway, when you get all the ingredients in your crock pot, you put it on high for like five hours, shred it, boom, chicken tacos. It only pulls 200 watts. That's awesome. <laughs> so now we walked into frame. Oh my gosh, it did so good. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, Akila. Good job, little crock pot. You did so good today. I love the desert for this very reason. Oh, the poncho is good. 
Really? You need to warm up the tortillas. I'll just bring two over and I can make more if you need two. Can you bring two plates over too? Yep. We have all that compressed wood too. What? You mean the wood for my wood burner? This is pretty close to the bus. Hopefully it doesn't blow up. I just feel like life is back to normal and I'm so happy. Over the last eight years or so of working in the wilderness and then building and living out of the van, I've realized that I'm happiest when I feel as though I'm living mostly in nature, or at least just a step away from nature. Akila, your ear is right in. Akila, come here. <laughs> Lie down. <laughs> that was so cute. Wow. Lie down. And this realization has brought a lot of excitement in my life because now with the property, I'm constantly daydreaming of the buildings and the natural creations that I get to make with my own hands, where I can have full control of how close to nature I'll be living. Did we wake you up? Are you going to bed? I didn't mean to wake you up, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to wake you up, little girl. All right, let's go to bed. Good morning. I think this is going to be a really beautiful sunrise and the moon is out. I've always loved sunrises and being out for sunrise, but just in the last month or so, I've made it like an intentional everyday kind of thing where I'm up and outside and watching the sunrise. One of the really neat things about this is the early morning light is really good for you. It's really good for you to see the different, especially the contrasting oranges and blues of that early morning light, and it can really help with sleep. Akil's hungry. Did you just knock over your bowl? You were funny. I find it really incredible how allowing our bodies to sync with like nature or earth feels really foreign to much of the population but when you think about it this is where we belong and <laughs> this is what we're meant to learn from and be in rhythm with and when we're out of that like of course we have so many issues with our bodies and our brains and our health and our everything I'm working on connecting my Kindle to Wi-Fi right now because I need to download another book. At the beginning of this year, my goal was to read two books a month on top of um, a book that Chris and I read together, which is a really slow process, but kind of fun because then we both get to read a book. So last month I read Ada Blackjack. This was a gift from uh, Eric and Colby, Engineers of Van Life, and I really enjoyed this, but it was quite a slow, it was really slow to get into it. And I wanted to hear more about her, but anyway. And then we just finished Tress of the Emerald Sea, and this is a Brandon Sanderson book, and this was absolutely wonderful. I wish I could read it again. Chris and I together just started The Wheel of Time, but my personal two books of the month are going to be the Six of Crows, I've just been seeing it around a lot and has great reviews. And my second book is Albatross. That I have to get as a physical book though because it is not 
in Kindle form. A really neat little story about that book. I met an amazing woman in the jungle. Her name was Marka. And she told us of this incredible story of a woman that she knew who jumped on a boat as a chef. There was a big scary storm and a capsize and she had this like incredible survival story essentially out at sea and it turns out that that story was her mom's story like her mom actually went through all of that and then wrote a book about it so i really want to read that book because i have connections now books are bought for the month of march since life has been feeling a lot more normal lately and i have more time to live since i'm caught up with work now I'm more excited to do adventures and even though I am planning one right now out in the desert, tonight Akil and I have plans to do a little mini adventure. But first, I'm going to make burritos for breakfast. Prepping dinner again. Random meetings that she said she wasn't. Yeah. So what? Good job cleaning up, girl. Oh. The truth is, nothing else fun happened today. And Akil and I are postponing our little mini adventure because Chris is getting sick. You peeing? Oh, he's getting sick. So we're going to watch the sunset and watch a movie and making popcorn and making him tea and yeah. And Linnea has taken very good care of me today. I'm hoping that it's not the C word, <laughs> COVID, and hopefully I'm feeling better tomorrow, but feel very achy, very sleepy, and very out of it. And actually, it was actually during the meetings, like I could just feel myself getting like drawn down of energy. So I took a nap, gonna chill, drink lots of water, hopefully be okay. Just, yeah. oh, Dated April 4th, 1985. Leave it. Leave this it. is New Orleans. This is my last will and testament. I don't have much to leave. A few possessions, no money really. Okay. I will go out of this world the same way as my story. And I'm writing it now while I still remember it. I hear you're so old as You just feel it. When we wake. Birds and see the sun. Side by side, our fears are done. All the good times just begun.